What's up guys and welcome back to the Minecraft modding tutorial. Today's tutorial is going to be on how to add your own flower into the game. So for this tutorial you need to set up MCP and I advise that you need to know how to make a block. So once you've done all that and I have made videos on them so you can go and check them out. Once you've done that you'll need to go into your Minecraft folder just here then common then you'll need to go into your net.minecraft.src, so go into that, and then you'll need to find this file called block flower. So block flower. No, oops, no, it's block flower. Block flower. And then you can go ahead and just copy all of it. So copy. And now what you need to do inside the package you've created in the SRC for this tutorial, that's where mine is you need to create a new class and I'm going to call this block custom flower and then what you need to do, you need to paste all that in and you'll need to change the name of your class to block custom flower, so change that then you'll also need to import block from nets.minecraft.src you need to import material as well you also need to import creative tabs so you'll also need to import worlds let's import that and there's one more error down here you also need to install no import that as well and then you'll need to change where the package is so change packet declaration to forge toot or whatever your package is called so now once you've done that you'll need to go into a common proxy and you'll need to add another line of code which is public static block and then you need to call it so I just call it flower that's the variable I'm going to use for my block then you'll need to do new block custom flower and that's what you called your file I'll just save that quickly and as you can see it's int it's int i it's int int material so you need to open brackets and the first int is the id so i'm going to do it as 202 then you've got the sprite it'll take uh, its texture from and random just 65 and if you don't know how to have your own custom sprite then go and check out my adding your own textures to your blocks and items and that involves making your own sprite page and then creating your own textures and stuff like that so now once you've chosen your sprite you need to go into you need to set the material so you need to do material dot and then you've got all these options and the one you should do it for for a flower is plants so plants and then you need to do dot set block name I'm going to call it flower and set hardness. I'm going to put that as zero because that's how flower, quick flowers break. And set resistance. Let's do it at 0.1f. And then I'm going to set creative tab. And if you want to want to see me go over this in more detail, then go and check out my creative tabs video. So, I'm going to set this creative tabs as brewing, just so I find it easily. And once you've done that, you'll need to go ahead and register your block. So in the public static void register render information, do game registry dot register block. And then whichever your variable was here, you'll need to register it to flower and then semicolon and you should be all done and there should be no errors yep no errors and you can go ahead and start minecraft so it's just loading up now and it seems to be taking a while again Here we are. It's 
just searching for mods now. And hopefully it won't take forever, but come on. Don't know why it's not taking don't know why it's taking this long. There we are, at last it's identified the mods. And then Minecraft should have loaded up. Come on. God, it's taken so long. Yes, you've loaded mods. Why isn't it allowing me to join it? Ah, oh, there we are, at last. So now you can go ahead into your world. And let's just change our game mode. Game mode creative. And we put it in the brewing. Oh, and our flower seems to have taken this sprite, the port I mean the what you call it? The mob spawner. And you can go ahead and place it down. And you see you've got that tiny collision box. As you can see and place it down, it can't be like placed on top of each other or anything like that. So you should text your own flower and it would look just like the normal flowers, not just like the normal flowers. But there you are. As you can see it's got the same box, just different te texture. So that's going to be it for this video guys, I hope you all enjoyed. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, then please subscribe for more Forge Modern Tutorials or just mod loader tutorials and snapshot reviews and mod reviews and stuff like that. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.